This week we're in Atlanta, Georgia. And this right here is Cyclops, also known as Rock Rail. Welcome to Spot History. All right, so first time I ever saw this rail was in Dying to Live, the intro, Jamie back 50-50's it. And then in his part, he back lips it. I cannot imagine coming off that drop backwards like that. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, this thing is a lot of impact. Oh man, jumping out of the Dude, so much impact. Woo Jamie back 50 did. I also saw a few others. We had Nick Turner. Mason Coates. And Josh Butler. I wonder if Jamie was the first one to skate it. Maybe. That's crazy if he's the first one to skate it and he just instantly went for back lip like a gnarly one. Yeah, I think he might have warmed up with like board slide. Whoa. Actually, I know he board slid it. Nose slide. I got 5 0 Biggie did Nolly from board. That's one of the most insane tricks on this. Yes. Nolly going backwards. Like, if he missed his pop Nolly, he'd be done. Yeah, and in that same video that he did Nolly from board, Andrew Reynolds, Nolly no slide. That's one of my favorites. And then we had back 5-0, Ben Hayes. He's actually here right now. Oh my God, How camera shy. How many tries does the back 5-0 take? Uh, three. Three? Mm -hmm. Hey, damn. This is Ben Hayes, the legend of Atlanta. No, I suck, dude. <laughs> no, no, no. My if you're back 5-0 in this thing, you definitely do not suck. Oh, wait, wait. He also did back 180 down the gap. Really? Oh! Yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. He stuck back, back big spin a bunch of times. Oh, shit. Switch oh, switch big spin. Switch My big bag. spin. Switch big spin. Oh, what? You're turning red. All right, all right, that was good. Yeah, leave, leave, right, him, alone. We'll, leave him alone. We'll take you off the spot. Thank uh, you. <laughs> so yeah, front 5-0, we also had one done by this dude named Tony Yeep. <laughs> Graham Bickerstaff stuck feeble down this in the rusty trombone video. Nice. Did not get the make though. I wonder if he's coming back. Oh, look what we got oh, here. Oh man. Welcome to the hey, south. Hey, boy. hey, give that back. <laughs> got the pizza crust. This thing is bonded up pretty good right now. Yes. So this is what your run up's looking like. Some dude ollied over the rail from the top straight down here. Anthony Morales. This one looked awful. Corey Duffel tried to front nose. And he stuck and broke his wrist. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! Fuck! She, yeah, that was one of the heaviest slams. Yes. But this dude Piff did land the front nose. Oh, 
It's a heavy front nose. That drop off is scary. Josh Butler, crooked. I've also crooked it before. Probably crook it again today. That'd be cool. Yeah, I actually crooked it because I tried kickflip crook like eight years ago, but every time I tried, I'd always get in like right here. I couldn't get myself to slow down because the times I wouldn't get in, I would barely clear. So I was scared to actually slow down and commit. Oh, Corey Glick front crooked it. A shot with the 180 switch crook. Like the point I'm going to war. Came in the door with everybody on the floor. A whole string of jobs. Like this is the most memorable one to me. And now, Sean Malto back over crook. That trick blew my mind when I was when I saw that for the first time. This thing seemed so big and it seemed like impossible that he was able to take that trick, lock it in and clear it. And because of him doing that trick, I learned how to back over crook. Wow. So thank you, Sean Malto, for that. Did you know that back over crook was a cover for Slap Magazine? I did. That cover was sick. Whoever shot that photo killed it too because they made it look so big and so gnarly. I loved when it was red too. It looked so... Yeah, I forgot it was red. Yeah, they painted it black now. Still cool, but in my opinion, it looked cooler red. Then over a decade later, Patrick Fromman comes here, takes it to the next level, and Nolly backs over crooks this thing. <laughs> to Nolly into this thing too is pretty unreal because you have to nollie over a ledge basically and then onto a rail. Terrifying. Near the end of your three seasons part, we see the nollie back over crook. Tell us the story about that one. It, it looked like it was quite the battle. I feel like not many people know about this, but it took like about two years to do. I tried it like maybe like two years before I landed it and um, I stuck it. <laughs> Got pretty close and one of the tries I uh, went to lock in and I missed the truck and I got into back lip and I just fell straight to my back, like off that rail. It was like during the winter and it started snowing too and it was like so cold and like I was bleeding out and I was like, I'm over it. Like it was so bad. That parked me out for a while and just thought about it for so long, like for like two years to be honest, like just thought about this trick and like going back to Atlanta and I kind of vocalized it for a long time to the real dudes and there was like a Tampa Pro coming up and I was still am at the time, but they were like, hey, let's do a trip to Atlanta. And then after Atlanta, we'll send the crew to Tampa. I didn't know at the time, but they really planned that trip for me to go do that trick. Yeah, skated the first day with a shot, and he, that's the day he did a 180 switch crook. Took maybe like a few, and I got fucked up. I bruised the bottom of my foot so bad, it was like, it was like black and purple and I couldn't skate the whole trip. We went back on the last day. The trip wasn't that long in Atlanta, maybe like maybe like five or six days. We went back and I kind of built it up in my head and my foot was still fucked up. And I was like, all right, well I have a few tries before like I can't jump on this thing again. As I'm trying it, we got kicked, we had the boot pretty fast and the cops came. Yeah, they weren't really stoked on us skating there and they called the cops and I was like, I was moving up there and I was like, yo, please, like, I'm not from here. Like, I've been waiting to do this trick. Let me get like one more try. And he, and he was like super cool. And he was like, all right, one more try. Like, I'll give you one more try. And all the boys are like, you got this, like right here. And I was putting money on the line. And I went for it. And the ground up top is like, uh, that like, kind of like, they just kind of redid it too, maybe. So it's like this fresh, like sidewalk where it's like pretty grabby, you know? And when I popped, it just, my board just didn't come with me and I just jumped the flat and I was just like, so, so bummed. I like broke my board and just like walked off for like 20 minutes and like no one could find me. And I was like, dude, it was like probably the most I've ever been bummed about trying a trick. We're all flying out the next day. My friend Christian, Christian Yopez, he he's still living in Atlanta. And I was like, hey, like, I'm not leaving. Like, like I'm not going to Tampa. Like, like can I stay with you? Can we like, can we try this again? He's like, yeah, you're more than welcome to stay with me. And there's a filmer out there. His name's Max Yoder. I was like, are you free, Max? Can, can you like, can you, can, we, can you come back with me? Like, if I, if I try it again? He's like, yeah. So the next day, the real team left. I went to PT with my friend Christian and he got worked on. And while he got worked on, I hopped in like the, the compression legs. They put me in there for a few hours and it was like so helpful. So that was like a Thursday. I think that Friday was when it was closed. I was like, we gotta go Friday. So I had one day to rest. 
And then we went on Friday, Max pulled up to film, and my friend Jordy pulled up, and like a few of the boys from Atlanta pulled up. So I had like a little squad with me. We got lucky and one worked out. I think, to be honest, like maybe the best right away feeling I've ever had in my whole life. I just kept getting slammed and I was like, oh, if I ride away from this thing, like it's probably gonna rock me. I'm probably gonna be all squirrely and shit. And like, dude, the one I landed was probably like, I'm not trying to say like, it was so perfect, but like we it, we rode away clean. And like, I remember like I stood, I like bent down and I stood up and I started pushing away. And I was like, oh my God, like we're done. Got a clean right away and I pushed off and like down the road and all the homies were like cheering. And it was like, uh, it was like so, it was like the best, I think the best feeling from a trick I've ever had in my whole life. I watched the raw cut of that part and you looked stoked when you made it. I, there's a clip of me when I'm when I'm riding away and I, I look back at all the homies and I'm like, my mouth is just like open. My jaw is just like wide open because I'm just like, we're done. Dude, two years of like just thinking about one trick for so long, you know? And I've seen a bunch of my favorite pro skaters skate it like Molto back overcooked it back in the day and like, such a big multi fan and like all the america dudes like figgy skated it Reynolds skated it back in the day and um yeah i just want to get a piece of it and it, it's like a big i think it's like a pretty big staple like spot in for the east coast if you're a real skater you, you know what that rail is you know yeah absolutely and, what were like the warm-ups like did you do anything else to get ready for it, or did you just go straight to it every day i'm still never really that comfy with back four slides so i would throw the, the back grind It's not a long rail and it's square, so it's not really like the most ideal either. I remember that day when I backgrounded it, the day I did it, it felt pretty, um, it felt pretty comfortable. Um, and then so you kind of just background it and I just started like going for it. I think we rub bricked the ground where I popped because I was popping Nolly and it was like really grabby. And then, um, yeah, just background and then start throwing Nolly over crooks. So two people backsmithed it, James Hardy and Nikhil Smith. But who did it first? James Hardy did it first. I'm pretty pretty positive. Yeah, I believe so. James Hardy's backsmith, that's pretty legendary. This episode of Spot History was filmed a few weeks ago before the unfortunate news of James Hardy. James was kind enough to be a guest on one of our previous Spot History episodes. We were lucky to have him on as a guest so that he could tell his story. And this truly is a devastating loss to the skate community. And Cyclops, backsmith. This spot history video is dedicated to the memory of James Hardy. Yeah. Nick Kirch, 180 nose grinded it back to regular. That's very gnarly. But Nyjah back 180 nose grinded it. Gosh, I cannot imagine. Oh yeah, so we said Figgy did uh, Nolly front board, but he also stuck nose blunt. Oh, yeah, he had that, he, I think he broke his board and then he was over it. The funny thing is Max Yoder filmed that session with the America dudes on, on that rail. And then when I went and skated uh, Cyclops, he was the one filming the session too. It was him and my friend Jordy. So I was like, this is so full circle. Like I used to watch like stay gold all the time and then like, for him to film those clips and then like for him to be on that session and film my trick on it, it's like, it was just like, I don't know, it was just crazy. No way. So we have just found out from Ben Hayes that Nick Dumpierre nose wanted it right here. You can still see where it used to be red. Oh yeah, you can, wow. <laughs> One of my favorite skaters, Heath Gerchart, tail side to regular at night, like a boss. Yeah, he popped out of it. Minefield, last part. Heath Kirchart also got a front board down this. TJ Rogers, gnarly board slide. Another gnarly one. Anything gnarly on this. Another heavy one, back tail, Trevor Colden. This gap is huge. D. Ostrander did front 180 down this gap. But the craziest trick ever done down this gap, he'll flip Indy by Lindsey Robertson. Oh my 
Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. It's one of the coolest things down it. Another really unique clip at this spot, a doubles clip from King of the Road, Evan Smith and Julian Davidson. Uh, Julian kickflipped the gap at the same time that Evan board slid the rail. I just remember like... They're definitely the first people to do that. And it took them quite a few tries. They both landed it separately before doing it together. So they had to fight for that one. All right, you have some inside information, Kanan. I do. There's actually another trick that has gone down, but it's not out yet. That's all I can say. So look forward in the future, maybe next couple months, year, you'll see something new. Ooh, I can't wait. I will tell you, it is very heavy. Oh, I believe Weimer tried to kickflip crooked too, and he is the man for the job. Weimer, please, we need a kickflip crook on this thing. Come back and do that. I believe Jamie still has 500 on it too. He offered him 500 once. I'm sure he'd be down to do it again. Now Jake took a slam earlier today, but we're gonna get him to grind it anyways. <laughs> oh, no. oh. So you'd skated this before, right? Yeah, I came out here when I was 18 and I 50 50 did. All right, nice. You're gonna do it again today. I guess so. Hey, man. Cheese grater. Went for it. <laughs> <laughs> Get in there. So yeah, the scariest thing to me about this was seeing the ledge at the bottom because it goes down and then it kicks out. So it almost feels like you might run into this thing and it slants over. It's like a perfect rail, it just has a really high drop off, like head high. Let's uh, do some measurements in a second. Okay. The stair set is an 11 set, but you also got the curb, so it's kind of like 12 it's a 12. stairs. 11 flat one. 11 flat one, sure. What is this? I don't know, but you get to look at this oh, as you're running up. Some nice artwork. Look, it's a skater. He's doing a hand plant. <laughs> we got the measuring tape back out today. We're going to get some measurements. The thing I really want to know is the drop off here. That's four foot 10. But you also got this, another six inches. So, what is that, five foot four? Five foot four is a big drop off. It feels like you're alling the set when you come off this rail. Yeah, on this side, the rail is taller, but the concrete goes out like another foot right here. So measure it right here and see how tall it is. That is two foot nine inches. Pretty normal height for a rail right here. Three foot four at the top. At the yeah. top. And then when you actually get into the rail, Probably like right here. You're probably grinding about four feet, three three to four feet, depending on what trick you're doing and how fast you're going. Yeah, yeah. So I have been editing the video and I have come across some more clips that we did not know about a few weeks ago when we filmed this video. 
Adrian Mallory was actually the first one to crook Cyclops in 2003, King of the Road. Miles Silvis also backtailed Cyclops, but apparently the footage never came out. Also, I heard that Justin Brock apparently smithed the rail, but from the stair side, I'm not sure where that footage is. So if it exists, leave it in the comments below. Eric Cunman did 5-0, but from the stair side. And then last but not least, Alex Morin, Almost landed a kickflip board slide. Hey, what's up, Patrick? Let's go. Let's go. What up, bro? Did you see Cyclops? I just crooked it. Would you ever think about too savvy living it? <laughs> I've thought about <laughs> it, but I, I feel like when I get in, my front wheels would catch the rock, you know? Cause like you kind of like get in like sideways. You think so? Yeah, it is possible. Yeah, I, oh, I forgot to tell this. Tell you this. There's, a, there's a skate park. It's called Noonan Skate Park. It's like maybe like 40 minutes outside of Atlanta. Before I skated the rail, I went to the park and there's literally like, a, like an exact replica of the rail, the square rail at the park. And it's like, the same dimensions as Cyclops. <laughs> just for that <laughs> really? Point. Yeah. And I just, Damn, and I we should have been going there. A million times. Hey, I appreciate you guys for like, uh, letting me be a part of this. I've been watching the, the channel, so it's been sick. So. Yeah, of course. Good. I'm glad you've been watching it. Dude, skate history is like important. And like, uh, yeah, these spots like- spots, Seriously. Like, as a skater and like you grow up watching like, like these, these videos, there's tricks that like can be forgotten about so easily. So I think it's just like, uh, it's sick to see. The San Clemente rail, and you guys put me in there, I was pretty stoked. Yeah, 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 you were in that one, yeah. <laughs> I appreciate y'all, thank you guys. Have you ever wanted to be in a Dern Brothers video? Well, well now's your chance. Saturday, May 18th, we're throwing a party. We're gonna have a skate contest. contest. There's gonna be live music. And we're premiering a new Dern Brothers video that you'll get to watch before it's on YouTube. It's happening at OC Rams. We're gonna be giving away cash and prizes thanks to our sponsors, Pit Viper, Viper a Lost Cause, and Monster, the, the Beast Unleashed. Unleashed. We're going to be giving away cold, hard cash. We'll see you there. All right, and that's our video on Cyclops. Let us know if we missed any tricks in the comments below. We post videos every Wednesday, so please subscribe. See you next Wednesday. Oh, yeah,